Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla. If you watch this side and ride, welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dionese Corbin Air Glove, available at Revzilla.com. This is the Corbin Air. If you've been following along at home, there's also a Corbin D-Dry, which is a $40 more expensive waterproof breathable glove in this category. Now, I will tell you, I like the Corbin Air the best. And I also love right out of the gates that this is a unisex glove. It comes in sizes three extra small through two extra large. But that's not the thing I love the most. The thing I love the most, and you're gonna see me do something that's gonna creep you all out, this is one of the softest gloves I've ever had on my hand, both internally and externally. I put my hand in this glove and I said, every glove should feel so good. This is drum dyed goatskin, which we see across the board in lots and lots of gloves. But there is a premium nature to the feel of this glove, inclusive of these wraparound seamless fingers where you don't feel the seam that make this one of the most comfortable gloves in this category I've ever felt. Around the $100 mark, you notice that the Corbin Air perforated on the back side of the hand. It has a little bit of foam backing. And all that I can say about this is that Pat on our research and video team said this glove felt plump to him. Now, I don't typically use plump in a sentence. There's only one time and that's what ballpark B Franks do when you cook them. But on this instance, one of the best ways that I could describe how this leather feels is plump, but it is absolutely awesome. It smells good as well. Now, if we look at it, there's a downside to the foam backing here and the plumpness of some of this leather. And that is the fact that it will inhibit airflow a little bit. And this is really designed to be a two to three season, warm to hot weather, short cuff, retro inspired glove. But I love that Dianese took the time to really get so much of it right and at around hundred bucks, it gets most of it right. Biggest drawback outside of that is the fact that for the $100 mark, I wanna to see touch tech finger and thumb. It's become part of the kind of bar for this category and for gloves for the average commuter to the everyday rider that has an Android, a multi-tech, a Google, or an iPhone device, you're gonna need that. And ultimately it doesn't have it. So again, Dianese, that's a way for even another five bucks that you might be able to beef up the usefulness of what is, in my opinion, a very spectacular glove. Now, quick note on fitment. I'm wearing a size extra large, true to size within Dionese. It's Euro fit. I typically wear an XL in Dionese, but that's what the size chart tells me to wear, where I'm gonna be more of a large in your icons and your more American fit type gloves. And again, short cuff, notice the stretch here, this knuckle that's coated in leather and hard shell is going to move with us. And then ultimately you do have some pops of elastication in your first three fingers as well. So again, fit wise, no surprise there. We'll ship free over 38 bucks. And I'd love to click our logo, Subscribe to Zerevzilla on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments, requests, your feedback of the Corbin Air, or maybe a better adjective for plump that might describe this leather and cover the bases in a more premium way. Now, diving into the nuance. Dionese, embossed logo. Moving up the back of the hand. We already talked about the hard shell knuckle, not overly wide, very ergonomic, feels great. Moving the backside of the fingers. Remember, foam backing, gonna cut down on some of the airflow, but it is perf, will flow a decent amount of air. More Dionese embossed, very simple. Tastefully done logos, Dionese, nice job. I know that's hard to resist for a lot of the European players. They just want a logo the hell out of everything. Moving into the palm of the hand, I like it, but it could be improved. Notice, it's still gonna be your drum dyed goat. It feels awesome. Notice I'm just sitting here rubbing myself. Now, on the inside of the crook, two pieces of leather. Make it one. That's gonna be a point where you're gonna have wear over time. Two pieces of leather here, just make it go all the way across. And then two pieces of layer on the out seam. I don't mind that there's not a hard part where people have said there could be a hard part there. Okay, they beefed up the layer of leather. There's a little bit of foam backing for vibration dampening. I can get over that. For this glove, it's a little more casual in its approach, but give me a singular out seam. All you have to do is one piece of leather, capture that whole thing, and just be done with it. Versus seams, even though it's doubly stitched, that could wear out over time or burst if you happen to go down. Now, they've done a nice job on the cuff here. Plenty of room to adjust, very simple. Notice your pop of Italian flag there. dionysia has been doing that lately, but all in, the fact of the matter is that I love this glove, how it feels on my hand, to my fingers, and to the touch. It works, and the biggest downside is just gonna be the lack of the touch tech. But overall, unisex size-wise, from 3XS all the way up to 2XL, awesome glove. Go check it out, and don't forget, if you want a waterproof version, again, waterproof the insides, you're gonna lose the feel on the inside, but again, you could have the waterproof breathability for three season warm weather, ultimately that gets baked into um, thwarting mother nature. Now, the next step in your journey is click the info button on your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at revzilla.com. Read other rider reviews. You should not just take my word for it. See what other riders are saying about the Corbin Air. Keep mind, we'll ship free over 30 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Don't forget to subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion of the latest and greatest in the moto universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time. Hashtag plump.